Jeff here for IFL TV MTK Global and with me I have got Eric Donovan. Welcome Eric. Thank you. Thanks for Congratulations on a comprehensive points victory here in the National Stadium in Dublin. That takes you on to 6-0. How would you assess your performance tonight? I think it was a very dominant performance. Um, good eight rounds in the bag in the bank. Um, really at times I've really tried to take them out there. Um, but at the same time trying to remain cautious as well not to get caught with anything silly because he was quite dangerous. Um, I nullified him in every way, I beat him in every department. Uh, so he, the only thing he had going for him was, was, was trying to knock me out with a big punch. So I had to be very, very careful that I didn't do anything silly. But overall, a dominant performance and I'm very happy eight rounds in the bank. Uh, it was great to have a large performance uh, fan base tonight in the National Stadium. Yeah. Did that help you along the way? It did, yeah. Like, look, it's, it's growing. Uh, it's growing. The fan base is growing all the time. Uh, this time of the year as well, it's quite tough coming up to Christmas for a lot of people. There's Christmas parties going on and then other people are, are just occupied and, um, you know, busy time of the year. But still, like, to have um, 200 plus, uh, just come 200 plus tickets, uh, I shifted for this fight. And then a lot of other people that came and paid on the door and all this, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, it's fantastic for me, and sets me up nicely for 2018. Uh, it's been a privilege, I would say, having Andy Lee in your camp for coaching this year and in your corner tonight. Um, what has Andy brought to your game in the training programs? Yeah, like me and Andy have been friends for years, and uh, you know, I just um, I'm very lucky that he found a, a, a period, a gap of, a, of five, six weeks, so he could work with me. And on a selfish level, I'd love for that to continue. But I know that Andy is still active in his own career and he could, may well have a big fight soon. Um, but I would absolutely love the working relationship to continue because I think he can add so much to my game. In that five or six weeks, I've noticed a huge difference and things that I can work on, develop on and, uh, and, and push forward. And like he's been in with the best. He's trained with, with the best. He's a, he's a fountain of, of knowledge. The, tonight, also you, in your corner, you had the IBF and WBA bantamweight champion Ryan Burnett. Um, can I discuss a wee bit more about? Yeah, Ryan again, a great friend that? of mine. Um, we, we even Ryan's boxing club, amateur boxing club, Holy Family, up in, in Belfast. I went on a, a many trips with them over the years, and we had, a, we had a fantastic trip in America about ten years ago. And um, and of course, Ryan, when he won the W uh, or the IBF belt, uh, beaten Lee Haskins. Uh, he required uh, my. He asked me for my help. Uh, me being a southpaw, he asked me for my, for his help uh, in, in sparring, and uh, so I did. And he has a bit of time off now after unifying the division. I mean, he heard I was topping the bill down here. He came down to show me his support, and that's that's boxing community for you, um, personified. You know what I mean? Help out each other all the time. So it's fantastic, great, an honor, an honor to have him walk out. With me. You talk about uh, Ryan having a wee bit of time off as well now after winning the second world title. Uh, what's in store for yourself over the Christmas period? Well, I just want to enjoy the Christmas. Uh, it's been a long time since I uh, got to enjoy Christmas. Uh, normally, when, when I was an amateur for so long, we'd have the Nationals just, af just after Christmas. So I, I'm going to just enjoy it with the family now. Tomorrow, we'll, uh, myself and uh, my girlfriend and two kids will probably put up the Christmas decorations and uh, we'll just uh, go out for a nice meal and yeah, look, look forward to the Christmas and chasing the European titles in 2018. That's great. Uh, congratulations tonight on the victory and all the best uh, for 2018. And thank you for talking to us at AFL TV. Thanks to IFL. Thank you.